PTC 518 is a new investigational agent that's being investigated for Huntington's disease. It's an RNA splicing modifier, which is actually in and of itself not a new concept. Uh, there's actually an approved medication out there for uh, spinal muscular atrophy using the same splicing technology as PTC 518. Whereas in this uh, space, we're, we're splicing RNA to lower protein. In the uh, SMA example, we we're splicing to create protein. So this is a rather uh, novel concept for uh, Huntington's disease in, in, in its application. Um, and we've been investigating, or I should say, we've been optimizing this molecule for Huntington's disease for the better part of a decade. So uh, we've taken a lot of time and care to optimize PTC518 for the splicing modification of Huntington protein. And this uh, molecule entered clinical development around the end of 2019. So we've uh, undertaken, a, you know, since that time, a very robust toxicology program, and then on into uh, phase one development, which was completed in just about a year ago. And we have now just embarked on our phase two investigation of the molecule. So uh, our particular molecule, um, in the presence of PTC518 within the cell, it induces uh, a pseudo exon to be inserted um, within the Huntington mRNA. And that pseudo exon codes for a stop codon, which essentially truncates the production of that mRNA. So the truncation and the subsequent degradation of that mRNA leads to lowering of Huntington protein. So that's overall the mechanism of action and how we're lowering Huntington protein uh, in the cell. So the advantages of this approach are several fold. So primarily, as you can probably ascertain here just by my uh, explanation here, was that we can lower Huntington protein ubiquitously throughout the body. So because of the oral administration and absorption systemically, we're lowering Huntington protein, not just in the CNS, but throughout the body. We're also peripheral manifestations of Huntington, uh, uh, Huntington's disease occurs. So um, uh, in addition, we also, um, which is in contrast to other modalities, we know that because of the systemic absorption and uniform distribution throughout the brain is we can lower Huntington protein again uniformly throughout the brain. So this is a, a significant advantage to some of those small um, modalities that have been previously investigated where the lowering and the, and, and, you know, and, and the location of lowering was under scrutiny. Um, I think you may know uh, striatal degeneration is one of the hallmarks of Huntington's disease, one of the earliest parts of the brain to degenerate in Huntington's disease. And we, you know, we know through our preclinical data that there's really uh, a, a, a very, very positive data showing that uh, uniform lowering uh, throughout the brain. Um, and then I think I kind of glossed over this a bit, but I said oral administration. So oral administration is, is a huge advantage when compared to administration such as intrathecal or even uh, intracranial um, injection of a gene therapy. So a simple you know, pill every day versus a, a very invasive approach to some of these other modalities. PTC518 is a non-allele specific molecule. And we are happy about that because what that means is that all patients with HD are likely uh, to have target engagement with our agent, which is not necessarily true with the allele specific agents. So one of the things I, you know, I also want to talk about is, um, and I, I, I touched on this briefly here in the fact that PTC has been developing this molecule for the better part of the decade. And we went through a, a very rigorous and robust optimization process that's uh, allowed for very selective uh, targeting of Huntington um, mRNA. So that optimization process is, again, is one of the hallmarks of this development program. But as part of that process, uh, we also um, came to understand you know, how these molecules can best be used, or should, be, should say most efficiently used. And one of those was by reducing the efflux of the molecule onto the brain. And that's one of the things that we strove or very um, uh, a lot <laughs> uh, is to identify a molecule that can reduce efflux um, so that we can get the maximum amount of Huntington lowering uh, for each administration. And uh, as our preclinical data shows, um, our molecule does reduce that efflux. So again, we have um, we can we can achieve the levels of Huntington lowering with a lot less of the molecule itself.